hello friends welcome back to automation testing insider.com this is sql tutorial part 17 and today we are going to talk about sql self join so in the last video we have seen what is full outer join and today we will discuss about self join this is another type of join so let's get started with the definition what do you mean by self join the self join as its name implies joining a table to itself or in other words self join is used to join a table to itself as if the table were two tables so i'll show you with the help of an example so you can understand better like what do you, what do you mean by self join and how do we do that uh, uh, this self join okay where do you where do we use uh, the self join in which condition so i'll show you in couple of minutes with the help of an example so let's have a look the syntax for self join so here we have a couple of syntax so this is the first one select a dot column name b dot column name so a and b are the alias okay from table 1 a table 1 b so since we have only one table in self join so that's how we have from table 1 a table 1 b comma table 1 b where a dot common field is equal to b dot common field so this is one type of syntax and this is another syntax we have select a dot column b dot column name from table 1 a join there is no keyword like self join we have only join table 1 b on on condition a dot common field is equal to b dot common field so let me take you to my sql editor uh, microsoft sql server management studio and uh, just go to database and here we have test data database and uh, so in previous tutorials we have seen employee detail and project detail now this time i'll use this table employees table so let me show you that table select star from employees execute this so guys here we have a table called employees and here we have employee id 1 2 3 4 5 and full name like these are the name names of the employees uh, tom garcia lucy martin frank clark jane joseph and robert hansen corresponding we have salaries salary column and we have manager id this is extra column so this is basically this employees table is the combination of two tables so here we have employee ID 1 tom garcia 10000 and manager id we have three so what do you mean by this three so three is nothing but the employee id three so this uh, frank clark is the manager of tom garcia manager id is nothing but this employee is reporting to this manager id which we have frank clark Similarly, Lucy Martin, we have employee ID 2, Lucy Martin 3. Again, Lucy Martin is reporting to Frank Clark. Third is Frank Clark, which is reporting to 4, employee ID 4. So we have Jan Joseph. Jan Joseph is the superior employee uh, who is not uh, reporting to anybody and uh, who is at, at top. Okay. And at last, we have Robert Hansen who is reporting to employee 1 1 is tom garcia so this is the hierarchy now we want to display the records because we have since we have only one table so we want to display let me show you we want the result in this manner Suppose we want employee ID, employee name, we want manager ID and manager name. Okay, so suppose we want the employee ID, employee full name, full name, and uh, this is manager ID, we want manager ID, and last should be manager name name like this so suppose we want to display 
the record in this manner so how to write the query so for this purpose we we are going to use self join so how do we write so let's start so select star from right now i am just using star from what is my table employees employees i'll use alias employee and uh, you can use a comma as we have seen in the syntax or you can use join join another table is i mean i'll use another alias manager like this you can write from employees join employees manager on now we'll put on condition okay and employees dot manager id is equal to we'll see this condition later but first what are the columns we want so we want as per this diagram we want employee id so we use this employee alias employee dot employee id we use the same alias we want employee name so full name third we want uh, manager id so so for each employee we want the manager id so from employee table itself we use manager id like this and what do you want from manager we want full name from this alias we want full name comma and then manager dot full name so like this we want from from employees employee and join employees manager so we have two layers guys uh, we are joining the table with uh, with the same table and uh, on condition should be employees manager id from the employees table is equal to manager this alias dot employee id okay because manager id of the employees table is equal to the manager employee id of the manager so just consider this as two tables so manager id from employee table is equal to employee id from the manager table so sorry this is should be employee id only yeah employees dot employee id is equal to manager dot one second employee dot manager id yeah why it is giving error select employee dot employee id employee dot, dot full name from employees employee uh, yeah this is should be employee employee dot manager id is equal to manager dot employee id so let me just execute this query we want a result in this manner okay so let's see if it is working fine or not so here we go so tom garcia we have employee id 1 tom garcia full name manager id is 3 and who is the manager who is the employee id uh, 3 frank clark so you can see from here employee id 3 is frank clark okay so let me execute this two queries together and you can understand here better so we have employee id 1 tom garcia manager id is 3 manager id 3 means frank clark so tom garcia is reporting to frank clark so here you can see tom garcia frank clark lucy martin again reporting to frank clark and frank clark reporting to four manager id four who is four jan joseph so here we can see jan joseph and last robert hansen will report to tom garcia employee id one so who is employee id one tom garcia 
so this is uh, one of the example of self join where we use uh, self join query so this is all about self join guys and uh, if you like this video please share it and like it and uh, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos so in the next video i'll talk about sql cartesian join or cross join so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye